are slightly numb and then that's full sensation. Um, but you can't feel anything like this. I can't feel the surface pressure. If I compare that to that, there is absolutely no surface pressure. So that's completely numb. That's slightly numb. And then it gets to about here and then that's when I feel the actual coldness. I can't remember what it was like to not feel pain in my legs, even though I'm paraplegic. You'd think it would be the other way around. You'd think that when you become paraplegic, you go completely numb. Anya, welcome back to my channel. I'm a T12 complete paraplegic. <coughs> so I'm complete all right there. So I'm completely paralyzed from around the waist hip area downwards. Um as I said, I'm a complete injury, so, so it's complete damage of the spinal cord, so I will never get my function back and I will never get my sensation back. And today I kind of wanted to show you what it's like to not feel um pain and not feel heat not for the kind of uh, a pinprick kind of thing um, and it also shows you my level as well um, so yeah if you enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below um, so we'll start off right with a bag of rice no cauliflower rice um, and i'm just going to put it to my body until i can feel it i just thought it'd be interesting for you to see the exact point where I can actually feel hot and cold. So this is obviously freezing. So, better you can get away. You don't even like cauliflower. Get up, get up. So, nothing. Sometimes hot and cold can send off tingles. Um, that's part of the neuropathic pain that I feel. Um, that's kind of like a false pain. So it's very, very painful and very real, but it's not actual pain. So, but yeah, I'll go up until I can feel it. So, so I can't feel the surface. I can't feel the bag. I can't feel, I can't feel the cold. Um, it's just sending slight tingles up my legs. Bet he's gonna eat this in a minute. Right, so I can slightly feel here is kind of numb. So that's completely numb. That's slightly numb. And then it gets to about here and then that's when I feel the actual coldness. Um, so if I go downwards, It's kind of there where it starts going numb. What I did find out in hospital is that one side is a bit different and I believe it was this side. This side's either lower down or it's higher up that I lose feeling, so I'll try it. So again, from my feet. Uh, I find um, heat very soothing. I know that doesn't make any sense. But for neuropathic pain, some are heat and also compression, socks and stuff. That can be soothing, even though I can't actually feel it. So I can't actually feel this cold. Um, sometimes when you look at something and you see it's cold or hot, your brain can kind of start thinking, oh, what is that? And so you kind of get tingles, but I can't feel the actual heat of it or the cold of it. So let's try... So there, is that about right or is that higher? Maybe, maybe it's the same then. And it's weird when it's numb because it's kind of like half and half. So you feel something's there, you feel that something's slightly odd or there's some sort of coldness, but you can't actually feel it. Um, if I try with like... Uh, 
Now, if I try with like a pen, this is only plastic, so it's not gonna actually hurt me and me not realize. Um, this is a very different thing because pinprick sensations, needles and stuff, that doesn't often send off tingles at all. So I remember in hospital, they do like a touch test and they get like a fork or something sharp and they'll get you to close your eyes and just say, is that left or right? Is it this or that? I remember when I was first in hospital, I kind of just thought, oh yes, that's my right foot. And I was getting some of them right. And so my parents were like, but no, it's just, it was just luck that. Um, but yeah, but it's, it's weird though, because when you close your eyes, it's different to when you're opening it. If I see something's properly doing it, it will send like ting tingles, but I can't feel the surface pressure. If I compare that to that, there is absolutely no surface pressure. There's no surface pressure work there whatsoever. And it's only when I get to this, this level, that's numb, that's numb, that's slightly numb, and then that's full sensation. Um, but you can't feel anything like this. What are you doing? I think you can feel it. Um, and the difference between a complete injury and an incomplete is that an incomplete paraplegic may get certain areas where they can feel it. All right, there. Um, so say they'll have like just a random area like here that they can feel. So there'll be like little, like little patches of sensation. Or an incomplete paraplegic will have some movement. So they'll be able to, at an early stage, start to be able to like wiggle a toe or something like that, and then slowly like lift their knee up, lift their leg up. Whereas a complete injury, when, when it happens, this happens and there's nothing really you can do about it. Um, so mine was a spinal cord injury crush. Uh, the, the spinal cord was crushed. Whereas those with incomplete injuries would probably have like a bruise on a spinal cord or... What's she doing? You don't like cauliflower. Yeah, a bruise on a spinal cord or some sort of temporary damage that can get better. For me, no. Nothing, it's gone forever. My sensation and my movement is gone forever. Um, yes, it's difficult, but to be honest, it's, I mean, it was difficult, but to be honest, I knew from an early stage that it was permanent. I just had a feeling, and I knew, and I knew, and you can tell when you become paraplegic, it's so weird to go from a normal, able bodied, uh, feeling person to all of a sudden not being able to feel your legs and it's a very like dead sensation um, to start off with I think I didn't really have nerve pain to start off um, it kind of the nerve pain came in a few weeks after my injury um, after my surgery and stuff and then the tingling horrible burning seething clamping like pins and needles, hot fire pins and needles started, and that's what neuropathic is, uh, neuropathic pain is. And I don't, know, I don't really know if, if you're incomplete, whether the pain's worse or better. Obviously, no one person can, can ever feel what it's like to have both. So you can't really say, and everyone's pain tolerance is different. But it's weird, because I'd say I have quite a high pain tolerance when it comes to like actual physical pain. Whereas for nerve pain, it's so painful and it's such a weird sensation that I just find it unbearable. Um, I'm on progabalin, I'm on amitriptyline, angeloxetine, so there's three tablets that I take daily and that I'll take for the rest of my life to try and numb the nerve pain down a bit, the neuropathic pain. Um, neuropathic pain is probably the worst thing about being paraplegic, maybe excluding bladder and bowel issues. It is terrible and it's very hard to explain to an able-bodied person. It's very hard, like, if I told my younger self that this is what would have happened to you and this is the pain you'd feel, I wouldn't imagine it because I wouldn't know what it's like to feel pain in your lower limbs for the rest of your life. Like, this pain that I get is, it doesn't go away, it's constant. I can't remember what it feels like to just feel nothing in your legs. Um, by that I mean able-bodied and feeling nothing, they're just there and you can move them and do stuff but you, you don't feel pain and I can't remember what it was like to not feel pain in my legs even though I'm paraplegic. You'd think it would be the other way around, you'd think that when you become paraplegic you go completely numb and there's no pain in that area. 
Um, and as I say, like this, so this is a sharp object, kind of, this is pain that I can't feel. So that's physical pain I can't feel, T touch sensation I can't feel. Oh, that is quite sharp. Um, but yeah, I feel this burning, seething pain. It's two very different types of pain. It is very hard to deal with. Um, as I said though, hot heat often helps my neuropathic pain, whereas cold kind of makes it worse. I mean, this doesn't particularly make it worse because it's only like on one bit of my body, but I mean, when, when my legs are actually physically cold, so like if I went out in the winter, my nerve pain would hurt more than I do in the summer. Interesting, it doesn't really make sense, I know, but hey. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the I'm gonna get back on the couch now. Thanks for watching, see you in my next one, bye guys.